The Yuan Ming Yuan Gardens were the summer residence of Qing Dynasty emperors. In their center stood a complex of ten buildings known as the European style palaces, which comprised a labyrinth, an aviary, a belvedere, the Hall of National Peace, the immense ocean observatory, the great waterworks, and the throne of viewing the waterworks. However, all that is left of these majestic structures is their half-standing walls and a set of copper etchings which serve as a reminder of the palace's former glory. The etchings are of panoramic views of the palaces, depicting their western-inspired architecture with astounding detail in a complex composition of striking realism. It makes people curious that the Emperor of China should have a European palace in the midst of his summer gardens. To understand the reason for this, we must turn back to F. Giuseppe Castiglione, an Italian missionary. Castiglione arrived in China in 1715, and because of his enormous artistic talent, quickly became painter to the Qing court. Then one day, Emperor Chan Long saw a painting of the Versailles Palace of France and was very much impressed. His curiosity was further piqued when he heard that the palace had automatic waterworks. He therefore commissioned Castiglione to design a palace in a European style. Castiglione's design borrowed heavily from European Baroque as well as Chinese traditional architecture. However, when it came to the fountains, the emperor was shocked to find that Castiglione had followed too closely the European tradition and was preparing nude sculptures to adorn them. Considering it improper for Chinese taste, the emperor chose to replace the nude sculptures with the 12 animals of the Chinese horoscope. European-style palaces covered an area of seven hectares with Roman columns, Baroque arches, and multicolored glazed tiles, bringing about gas of admiration from the visitors. The Hall of Natural Peace has the greatest of the structures in its complex, while the 12 sculptures of animals from the Chinese horoscope are arranged in two rows along the two sides of the waterworks. Each hour, water would emerge from the mouth of a different animal, and had a visitor found himself there at noon, he would have been dazzled by the spectacle of water gushing from the mouths of all 12 of them. After the completion of the European-style palaces, Emperor Qianlong decided to have a series of copper etchings done. The court's painter presented his prototype to the emperor in 1781, and after a few changes, 20 etchings were produced. Each of the etchings is made of red copper and weighs 26 kilograms, presenting a detailed rendition of each of the European-style buildings. However, in 1860, the French and English armies invaded the Yuan Ming Yuan Gardens, burning and looting everything that stood in their way, and taking with them the set of copper etchings as well as the paintings already produced. The etchings were lost and had not been located until recently. Only their 20 prints, which were kept in the French National Library, can be admired by visitors. In 1983, a French scholar presented a duplicate of the etchings as a gift to China. In 1860, amidst the chaos of the invasion, the copper heads of the 12 horoscope animals that adorned the waterworks by the Hall of National Peace were lost. In the year 2000, the tiger, the bull, and the monkey's heads were returned to China. Thanks to the etchings of the palace, we can know how they were originally positioned and get a glimpse of their former splendor. What is then the story behind these lost bronze animals' heads? We invite you to join us in our next episode and explore their mysteries.